Hello, doers. Today we're going to learn how to track and manage accidents and their necessary repairs using Odoo's fleet app. Now, before we get started, I wanted to mention that you can set up a totally different method to manage your accidents if you'd like. What I'm about to show you inside of this video just so happens to be my personal favorite. But feel free to play around with the database configurations to find something that works best for you. Anyways, without further ado, let's see how to manage accidents using Odoo's fleet app. So here we are on the main fleet dashboard. I'm gonna to need to see all the service records. So let's go over to fleet and then we're gonna select services up at the top. Okay, here is all of our current repairs. And as you can see, all of our services are organized by service type. The first two services are accident driver fault and accident driver not at fault. I already created these service types to track these accidents, but I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second right now. So you're gonna notice that for these accident records, the service type selected is one of these configured for accidents, while the actual repairs that we happen to see are listed under the description. Here is where we detail what the vehicle needs, like bodywork or replacement parts, as you can see there. And then over here for the notes, we happen to list any details about the accident, such as hit a deer. That one is pretty special. Now let's see how to log an accident. We're going to stop by selecting new at the top left corner, and here we are on our blank service form. If you remember, the description is where we enter the necessary details. In this case, we need to put rear bumper replacement. Now for our service type. Our driver was rear-ended at a stoplight, so it definitely was not their fault. So let's pick accident driver not at fault. So I'm doing an X because it's a no. Okay, so moving forward, it's important to note that this field is where you would create a new service type as well if needed. So the date is correct because it just happened today. Now the next thing is the cost. It's zero. I don't know how much it's gonna cost yet. So we update it as we go. So the vendor that we're gonna use for this is Car Repairs Plus. The plus stands for they do more than that. So up next, let's select the vehicle, which is in our case, oh no, it's the Audi A5, poor Cindy. And then once we select the vehicle, the currently assigned driver for the actual car was automatically updated as you saw. And I know Cindy was the one driving, so we don't need to modify this. Next, the odometer field over here needs to get updated. So she told me it's 83,231. Okay, there we go. Now we can put notes. All right, in this case, what did I say? Rear ended at stop lights. All right, we're done with that and a manual save right there. So I'm going to leave this right now in the new stage until I approve the estimate and the work has started at the shop. So we're actually done here. So if we go back over to our services using the breadcrumbs, which today is pretzels, I'm kind of hungry. We can actually see over here in our driver not at fault area, our newly logged services. So you'll notice that the stages appear in the far right column over here as well, so that we know the status of all these repairs. I'm responsible for accidents repairs. So whenever I go to this dashboard, I only want to see the services that need my attention. I can do that with a search bar that happens to be up here at the top. Let's say, I only want to see these services that are in the new and running stages. So I'm going to open up our mega search bar over here. We're going to add, in our case, we actually want a custom filter. The first one, we're going to say stage, and it's already set to where I need it to. For our stage, it happens to be new in the last field. But I also want to see running repairs. So for that, I'm going to select the plus at the end of this, which happens to duplicate the rule. Then I only have to change the last rule to running, and I just select add. When you look at that, now I only see the repairs that I need to follow up on, which makes my day a whole lot easier. And since I want to use this filter every day, I'm going to reopen our mega search bar over here, save our current search, change the name. I'm going to call it follow up, save. There we go. Now watch this. Don't blink. Boom. Just like that. If I wanted to see only these results, whenever I go to the services dashboard, I can now select our new filter. So now when I go back into the search bar mega menu, I can also see it's always saved right there. Perfect. And I can also delete it if I wanted to. So as I manage these repairs, I know that all the new services require a follow up with the repair shops to receive and approve estimates. Once I approve an estimate, repairs can start and I can change the status to running. That means I also need to monitor service records in the running stage because I need to update them with the final repair cost and change the status to done when the repairs are completed. Speaking of, Let's say I just got word, ring, ring, a side view mirror repair is done. Let's update that record. 
So let's click on side view mirror replacement over here. And this happens to be for a John Smith. The final cost for this actually ended up being higher. Go figure, it always happens. So this is 82534. Great, and I'm gonna select done, cause we're done. Now when I go back over here, I don't see it anymore because once again, if you recall, I only need running and new stages over there. So now that we learned how to log an accident repair, let's see how we can take a deeper look at the numbers to see who's a good driver, which vehicles cost the most to keep on the road, and other things like that. Let's do that by going over to reporting and costs. Okay, so here we are. This is our cost analysis report, which shows the total cost for all services and contracts for the current year by default. But we want to see how much the vehicles cost to keep on the road, not the total cost by month. So to do that, we're going to go into our mega search bar over here, and we're going to group them by a vehicle. Now we can see how much it costs to own and maintain each vehicle for the whole year. Currently, it shows both service and contract costs, but I want to know how much money I am putting into these vehicles for repairs and maintenance. So first, let's select the pivot table from the far right over here. So here, I can clearly see the service and contract costs for each vehicle. So let's narrow this down even further so we only see the service costs. So to do that, I'm going to go once again, first get rid of the dates, up to our service bar, and now we're going to search for something. So I'm going to select our service filter over there. Okay. Now I only see, well, in our case, our service costs but I want to see which drivers happen to be costing us the most in repair. So let's click the service box inside of the table, and then we're gonna select driver. Okay, I wanna do this for each of these. And then once that we see the total for all of these, it should make it a little bit easier. So this is a little hard to read in this format. So if we wanted to, let's flip our axes over there. And here's a detailed view of all the service costs, but I want to see just the totals over there. So let's click on total up there. And now when we expand these a little bit further out, would you look at that? We could see all of the costs associated with all of these drivers. And right now I'm seeing something a little bit particular. Brian Wood happens to be costing us almost nothing in terms of repairs. That's pretty good to know. And we saw this per year. There you have it, folks. An easy method to track accidents and repairs using Odoo Fleet. See you in the next video. And remember, drive safe.